revolutionizing the way people treat people in business. The Experience Pros, America's home for positive business talk. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. This is America's home for positive business talk. Angel Tussie and Eric Kramer helping you get it right. We are helping you get it right. Thanks so much for sharing positive business talk, making us a part of your business day. We're here to motivate, educate, and inspire. But do you ever find yourself, even though when everything around you really seems to be going well, yeah. that you can't focus on all the good that going on you just kind of zoom in on what's going bad absolutely it's like a magnet you know you, your traffic is flowing just fine but on the other side of the freeway there's an accident what do we do slow down to look right or i walk in my house at the end of the day and everything's clean but maybe there's like a couple of dishes on the counter <laughs> right. right this is what angel sees this is what mom sees and since we're making a list uh, you know i do all this work at the office and what do you ask the one, the thing, one thing that I missed, that I missed right? <laughs> and we tend to do that. So everything can be going great, but we, sure. we go right to the negative. We go right to what's wrong or what's bad is happening or, you know, we've got all of our ducks all lined up, but we're missing this one piece. And I know, I know that perfection isn't what we're after. So let's shift our attitude around. Let's shift our perspective around so that we can actually see what's going right in our lives. Okay. Let's look, you know, whenever something's going wrong, I've got a girlfriend, she starts to make a, a gratitude list of all the things she's grateful, all you the bet. people, all the good things, all the great things, because it's really easy to allow this one thing, maybe this, maybe you got rejected, um, you know, by a client or a possible prospect, or maybe somebody quit your services or did a refund or you know, you know, when we get so caught up in what's not working yep. that we need to shift our focus back to all the good things that are actually happening around us. I like that. So here are a couple of tips that I found. Uh, Susie Moore actually wrote these tips and she says that you need to get comfy with change and uncertainty. Listen, uh, change is, you know, what, what's the one thing that is constant? Change. change and and we have to deal with that and uncertainty i remember when i first uh applied for and then got my job at starbucks uh and that was years and years ago and the one thing that they were asking is they immediately put me in the management track they knew that that i brought to the table something i'd managed restaurants before and, and so on and they said you know how do you deal with ambiguity that was their their language for it. I mean, the question is ambiguous. <laughs> well, it, it is ambiguous, but it's that uncertainty and, and the way that you respond to uncertainty, to ambiguity, to things that surprise you is a major deal. And if you can find a way to put the positive spin on it, to find what's right in a situation that could go horribly wrong, you will absolutely be more valuable to the people around you. So instead of worrying about what might be going wrong or what might not happen or how this might turn out, focus on action. Yep. You know, what can you do? What can what steps can you take to pull yourself out of this? You know, like Eric said, focusing on the positive, what really is going right? Um, you know, here's a she this gal she talks about um, that when people get laid off, they worry about never finding work again instead of maybe relaxing a little bit, enjoying the gap. Between sure. their last job and the next job. You know, maybe you don't have the financial wherewithal to do that, but sometimes given a break, you know, sometimes we need one and we're forced into it and we don't even realize it. You know, maybe it's a good time to get real about that side hustle that you've been thinking about. So you're never in that position again. Right. Right. And so what can you do or what can you be focused or what can you act on so that you don't spend so much time worrying? The next thing is uh, an interesting one. It is learning to love the things around you, to be globally aware of, you know, from, from everything from your body to the people to the job circumstance, be in a place where you can find the value in all of it. Right. You know what? What if you just like, remember that little girl who was in her bathroom, standing in her bathroom mirror saying, I love my hair. I love my body. <laughs> I love my house. I love my toys. She's right? amazing. You know, think about, yes. Right. It's jean season. You know, I'm kind of bombed as we switch from season. We go from from sundresses to boots and jeans. And and I'm not always quite ready to make the shift. Sure. But then the weather reminds me I need to make the shift. Yeah. Right? And yes, it's jeans and boots season. And I get to pull out all the jeans and boots that I haven't been wearing all summer long. What can you 
can you focus on that you love instead of, instead of being so self-critical? Where where I think a lot of times, especially for women, and I don't know, maybe this is for men, but we are so self-critical of our bodies, oh, you sure. know, our self-image, and we put so much pressure on ourselves. So then when something doesn't go well at work or in a relationship or at home. It's a straw that broke the camel's back. It really is. So yeah. start with, look, you know, you got up in the morning, right? You're on this side and there's all this opportunity. It's a day that ends in why and what am I going to do with it? All right. And the final one is this, and I think it's probably the most important and valuable one of all. And that is being cool with new beginnings. Uh, learning a new language or entering a new career, moving to a new city, launching a new business, whatever it is that's new for you, being okay with that is a game changer for not just you, but all those around you. There is a massive difference when you are stressed about the unknown versus, you know what? It's going to be okay. Right. And, and whatever's around the corner, let's go get it. So uh, yeah. what can you allow yourself to appreciate more right now? Look around you. What do you have? Who are the people in your life that matter to you? And when was the last time they heard from you? Mm -hmm. you know, reach out to them. Connect with them. A quick little text message, a little little thumbs up on the on their social sites. You know, a phone call goes a really long way. You bet. But but what can we appreciate? Look at what you do have. Look at the clients. Look at the intellectual property you've created. Right, your knowledge has value. You've spent all this time creating all this knowledge about who you are and how you serve. Look at all the people that you've had an impact on, all the contacts in your database, the fact that you had lunch, you know, whatever it is. You know, if we can start focusing on what we have and in truly being appreciative of what we have instead of always chasing that carrot, because it'll never be good enough. Right? If you can't allow yourself to enjoy where you are right now, sure. then then more isn't necessarily better. It's it's just more. It's just more. Yeah, and, and that's not really the goal at all. Great, great topic here. And I think that really if we put it into practice, we can see that the quality of our life isn't not just not so bad. It's pretty amazing. And there's a lot of things to be positive about, folks. There's a lot of things. What's right with life? Just about everything. Mm -hmm. And what's wrong with life? That can take a back seat if you put it in the back seat. But you got to be able to do that yourself. All right, Angel and I are going to take a quick break for the top of the hour news. And then hour number two of Positive Business Talk is on tap. Don't go anywhere. It just got interesting. This is the home of that Positive Business Talk. ExperiencePros.com is where you can find out more information. We'll be back right after these messages. America's home for Positive Business Talk. You're listening to the Experience Bros Radio Show. 